Hello everyone and welcome to Chargers TV. Just giving you a quick update here. What's going on? Ron Riggs, Justin Bryan alongside you here. And JB, there's been a fair bit happening away from the court. Obviously the, the boys have been, uh, the boys and, and the girls have been hitting the gym. And thanks to all aerobics who have come on board and, and sponsored the team. Um, they've certainly been hitting the weights and uh, getting the cardio up, mate. Yes, we've had some amateur footy, amateur footage sent in to us by... We'll call him A. Stewart, Anthony S., whichever one you want. But, no, good to see the boys working out. We'll have some of that up here, doing some circuit work yep. and getting involved. And you'll notice some of the uh, assistant coaches getting involved there That's too, right. Ronald. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been a real big group exercise. And, I mean, as we mentioned, going back a couple of weeks, the boys had their 2K time trial. But really getting in amongst the uh, weight room and the aerobics room and doing some circuit training there is really improving. And, I mean, you can just see the work the boys are putting in there. They're certainly not uh, going at it half-assed, as they say. They're giving 110% burning up a sweat and really putting in a solid pre-season. And it's fantastic to see that the Chargers have brought on board a strength and conditioning coach and a, and a lot of thanks goes to Michelle Chopping for helping us out. Well renowned uh, around Hobart um, uh, with, with what she has done with other sporting organisations, JB. She's come in and absolutely just gone bang to use your terminology there and really um, get these boys up to speed a lot. Also to the ladies, I should mention as well too, Chobert. Absolutely. I mean, the Chargers are the leading brand of Hobart basketball and really the leading brand of Tassie basketball when it comes to elite teams. So it's only fair that the club gets the best of the best to help move its players forward in that elite direction. And that's exactly what's going on there. Both the women's and men's teams are taking advantage of the resources that have been provided to them in this off-season and kicking butt along the way. Bang, as they say, Ron, all, all the way through and uh, no, they're doing really, really well and showing some great improvement. Absolutely, and also brought on Nick Wilson, who's a sports physiotherapist as well too, helping them, um, the guys there with technique and what they and what they should do right with the body weight stuff and and that kind of thing. So those in, and of course we interviewed Nick, we interviewed um, Michelle, and also we interviewed Guy Franklin as well too. So all those interviews are up on our charges. YouTube page as well too, so you can check them out. But also a big thanks to Guy, to Guy Franklin and Terry Moore who own and run Aerobic uh, Fitness and they do a terrific job, JB. I've certainly been using their facilities for years now and it's absolutely fantastic and great to see the Chargers are in there uh, really taking their game to next level fitness-wise. Absolutely. I mean, All Aerobic's one of the leading um, gyms and workout spaces here in Hobart and those three, as we mentioned there, the leaders really in uh, personal fitness and personal training around the place as well. So it's good to see the Chargers getting on board, really enjoying their stuff and again, you know, supporting the local community as well. We're trying to really, you know, endorse and promote the local side of basketball and the local side of uh, health and fitness throughout the off-season here and I believe we've played a, they've played a pretty pivotal role in where we're going and I think we're going to play a pr pretty pivotal role in getting their name and their brand out there even more as well. Absolutely, and it's great to see too, Chabo, we, uh, we should mention this as well too. Great to see that uh, these people have come on board as well too. I'm just going to grab the iPad here because I've only just researched them over the last couple of hours. So Meal Machines, I believe, have come on board, JB, and helping out the guys and the girls with um, uh, some pre prepared meals and of course they're a Tasmanian owned and operated company providing nutritional beverages and healthy meals for the latest in bending technology. I tell you what I might have to get on that the nutritional beverage side particularly but no it's good to see and we've seen players on their social media over the last couple of weeks uh, especially the last couple of days giving these guys plugs and you know really supporting it and again this is just what it's got to take for the club and its players and its athletes to go in and you know, take that next step in the next direction. Uh, meal planning is central, and you know that's the fuel for your body, Ronald. If you want good results, you need good fuel. If you want bad results, then you know you're not going to care what you put in. But these guys want to take the next step. The girls want to take the next step, and this is just another key part. Good fuel for the body is going to produce good results. So great to have them on board. Uh, absolutely, JB is great to have uh, Meal Machine, All Aerobics, Michelle Chopping, Nick Wilson, Guy Franklin, Terry Moore, everyone that's coming on board here. We're absolutely grateful for your, for your support and helping out both men's and women's teams um, in this long extended pre-season. We can't thank you enough and um, it's certainly paying off because uh, we got the report last night from head coach Anthony Stewart that the boys were knackered after doing their hit 
class in the circuit room. Well, I don't know how many times he's ever said that about them training under Anthony. So <laughs> maybe that's a bit of motivation too for our assistant coaches that if the boys are going to be getting into circuit work and fit classes like that, that maybe when they do step onto the court and start doing some ball work and some skill work and some teamwork, that you know that's the next level where training can raise as well. It doesn't have to always happen in the gym. It can happen on the court as well. So I think this is you know going to be a good test. As I mentioned, this offseason is going to really show a lot of our young athletes and our players what it's like to take it to the next step. And I think this extra preparation and this extra off-season is going to allow these guys to, okay, we know what we're going to do off the court. We've really got to up what we do on the court. I think it's going to be extra motivation for Anthony Stewart and his coaching staff to really get everyone up to the next level on court as well. So, no, great to see that the boys are still getting a burn and aren't becoming lackadaisical, as they say, um, in the off-season running. Well, there you have it, folks, straight from the horse's mouth. And it's great to give you an update here on Chargers TV. Um, I'm not sure when we're coming back, JB. Hopefully when there's some more news circulating around. We know that the restrictions are lifting as we speak. We're now into stage three, which I think is absolutely fantastic. That's so why we're allowed to be so close and yeah. whatnot. Better than reporting from the car park or on the phone. So, that's no, right. it's been good. Things are lifting. And, I mean, that's going to, again, on top of everything the club's already doing, there's going to be more that they're going to be able to do. Um, and I mean, probably a bit more team bonding as well. There's not going to be this necessity to just catch up at training. You know, they're going to be able to catch up outside and enjoy one another's company a little bit more, which again is only going to help them in the off season. Uh, absolutely, JB. So we'll come back to you with another update in the near future. But on behalf of Justin Bryan, I'm Ron Riggs. This has been an update here on Chargers TV, and we'll speak to you again soon.